Hello everyone, this video is about the Astro Control Panel. So let's see what options do we have there. Um, so I'm not going to test them all, or uh, probably I'll just test a few, but I'm going to show you them. So you have the option to turn on or off the theme responsiveness. You can also decide how much the center content stretches. Uh, on pages like um, um, like this, you can decide how much this uh, center part stretches. So, for instance, I cannot stretch it too much because I have a small. Um, this video does not allow me to stretch too much, but I'm going to say that I want 800. And now, when I refresh this page, the content only occupies the maximum size of 800 and it's still centered. Uh, this obviously only applies to this type of pages because if you come here to sorry to your home page your your um, your carousel will still occupy the whole width. Um, so let's leave it like it was. Uh, the theme also has the um, option to turn on or off the um, Ajax calls to load pages. Um, there are also some animations, some small animations. Uh, for instance, when you roll over, this text has an animation, so you can turn them on or off here also. You can choose two fonts that are used uh, across the, um, the whole theme. Um, there are ins already installed over 60 fonts, but uh, I have developed a free, a free plugin that allows you to add as many fonts as you want here whether they are from the Google directory or from any other place, as long as they are free to use, you can add them. There are also here some background patterns that you can use as the, the background of your website. Um, if you need to add some background patterns here, it's just as simple as um, adding some or uploading some files to the patterns folder. They will appear here after you place them on your server. Uh, there are also here a bunch of colors um, for the background, for the text, um, rollovers, um, lines, borders, shadows, um, text fields. As you can see, there are there are a lot of uh, color combinations that you can that you can use um, for the buttons. Also, different colors. Also, on the carousel, this text is. Uh, this text, sorry, and uh, the, their colors, the backgrounds, you can change everything here. Um, preloaders, tooltips, um, everything uh, you can manage here, those colors. You can also turn on or off the sidebars. The right sidebar can be turned off by default, but then on, on uh, each page you can turn it on if you want. So this is the general tab. Um, the logo bar tab, you can change the menu background color and the text color, so you can change these uh, these colors here, and also the here's the place for the footer text and uh, the um, logo for normal screens and retina screens, and also the logo for the collapsed bar when the bar goes on top. Um, can um, you can um, display a different logo? Sorry. Um, okay. And um, this is it for the logo bar. Let me just resize this to the correct width. Um, okay. And uh, the menu bar. Also here a bunch of colors. To customize, I just want to tell you that you can change the menu bar width. So it's currently with 220 pixels. I'm just going to make it uh, wider so that you can see it in action. Uh, let's refresh our page. So here you have a, a much bigger menu bar. Okay. So our left sidebar, there are also here some colors to change if you want. Uh, the blog, 
tab um, just uh, some options that you can turn on or off here show author info previous and next link heart um, that like or that heart button that you can see turn it on or off so just a bunch of options that you can use here um, according to whatever whatever you want and also the sharing buttons you can turn them on or off here the portfolio is uh, similar to the um, to the blog and uh, there are also here some some options that you can turn on or off but they are similar just if you you deciding if you want to show or hide some some parts of the of the information that you can uh, uh, show <clears throat> about the translations um, you can use uh, WMO or WPO files and um, you can use them also combined with the WPML plugin you can turn that option here on or off and if you are only using a single language you don't need to worry about these um, these files you can just translate everything here and when i say everything i mean all the strings that you can see on the on the theme they can be translated here so if you are using more than one language um, you should use this method and turn this option on if you only have um, a single language on your website maybe it's easier that you just come here and uh, translate everything Finally, there are there's also a tab with with some custom scripts where you can place your Google tracking code, where you can add some custom CSS and some custom JavaScript or, or jQuery, if you prefer. And finally, um, you can change the um, the URLs, the slugs um, for portfolio, for skills, for slides, uh, slide groups, members, and team slides and the team sorry so basically for for uh, all the custom post types you can decide how you want them to appear on your um, url bar um, so thank you very much for watching that's all for today